All right, working on my wife's uh, 2013 uh, Ford Escape with the 1.6 liter engine. Uh, so she came from work yesterday, right? And uh, uh, after an hour, she came out to get something from the from the car, and she saw a puddle of uh, water around here, uh, reddish, you know. And uh, so I came out and take a look at it, uh, took a look at it, uh, and I saw that it was dripping from the back of the engine, right? Uh, she didn't have any lights on or nothing that indicated that, that she had, uh, that the car had a low coolant level, because, you know, this one here has a, has a low coolant level warning. Uh, so when I, when I went here to look at it, I, did, I saw that the coolant was, you know, was super low all the way down. And when I went to uh, turn on the engine, I mean, uh, to to see if there was a coat uh, or something in there, yeah, they was telling me that it was, uh, it was a low-level coolant, right? But apparently this happened right when she got here. Uh, so luckily, right? Luckily it happened right when she got uh, to home. I, 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 when she got here at home, that's when it happened. Uh, so... I couldn't, I couldn't see exactly, uh, so I put water in it, right? Because I'm not gonna put coal in if I'm gonna see where the water, where is it leaking from. So I just fill it up with water and um, turn on the engine and I started looking around and I saw that it was dripping from the back of it, right? But I couldn't see exactly where was it from. So I saw another video on YouTube where, uh, where somebody replaced uh, the water uh, outlet tube assembly uh, and uh, so I wanted to make sure right let me let me show you which one it is so it's this one right this is the original one that goes in here at the uh, at the back of the head so uh, so what I did is you know I took the air box out which is you know very easy to take out uh, nothing's holding it just a rubber grommet I pull it out uh, and uh, and make sure you know that um, I had all the uh, all my uh, sensors connected uh, and uh, any vacuum lines I plugged it in to start it up and as I w as uh, it was building uh, pl uh, pressure I saw uh, from the head at the back of the head and the knee that it was dripping you know. And then I knew that 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 that, that, that the assembly uh, something was wrong with the assembly. Uh, as you can see, the thing is uh, torn up. Man. It's all broken up. The gasket, uh, the overing gasket, was a, was a mess. This is a uh, this is a piece I saw from inside inside the head, right? So when I took it out, I put my finger in there and uh, and felt you know make sure there was nothing in there. And I found this little piece in there, plastic piece from it. Uh, it wasn't too bad of a job to take it out. Uh, it took me about an hour or so. Uh, you had this, uh, you know, to take out the, uh, uh, what do you call the, uh, the air uh, uh, hose. Uh, uh, this, uh, this whole thing you know, right? For the air, right? To take that out. Uh, this thing, this thing, uh, this thing wraps around around it. So to take it out from here, you just push push the sides, and it comes out. And then you and then you have uh, then you can take it off, right? Uh, I knew it wasn't this because uh, this I replaced this uh, about three years ago. So this that part goes goes in here, right into this assembly, right? But I knew it wasn't there because I. Uh, as you can see, it's also in good, you know, there's nothing leaking, and you can see the ring is still in good shape. So I knew it wasn't that. Uh, so, uh, so the best, uh, the first, uh, first thing I, uh, you know, once I took out all, all the bolts, uh, the, the thing that gave, gave me the most trouble was this hose in here, the clamp. It's a little bit hard to, to bring it back. And once I got it out, uh, you know that was that was uh, that was it, right? 
So, like I say, it's easier to, if you take out the uh, the air box, because you know you have more more space to look around and see. Uh, the holes on this side, you can see the holes right there. Uh, yeah, I was able to take out the clamp. I actually disconnected from the quick disconnect on the back of it, just to just to give me more, uh, you know, ready to move. As you can see, it's got a it's got like a little clip to disconnect the. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's got a little clip that you push out, and and you can do uh, you can take it off there. It's like like a quick disconnect, as you can see on this one too. Right? Let me show you right here. It's got a. I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but it's got like a little uh, metal, uh, like a wire that you just pull, pull out, and and then you can just take it out. Uh, so of course, you know, if you're gonna do this, uh, it's better to flush. Uh, leave the uh, open up your cool, your uh, radiator and make sure you know you just uh, drain everything out. Uh, so it's not too bad of a job, right? Now the part, I went to to the dealer, and here's the part number, if you want to look at it. The, uh, from the dealer, uh, it comes, you know, with the, I think that's a temp sense, temp sensor, right? It's got the old ring in there. With taxes, it came out uh, $57 from the dealer, but you can buy it uh, online for like $40, I believe, original four part. Uh, I bought the, uh, the cooling, you know, a few months ago, just in case I needed to do something with it, and you know, I bought the concentrated one so I can make the two gallons out of, out of it. So I think I have plenty, I think, right, I have plenty to flush everything out. Uh, what else that I can tell you? Uh, try to disconnect these holes, these uh, wires in here, you know, to, to pull this out, but apparently there's more holes, uh, more wires that go all the way in. So I didn't want, I didn't, I didn't want to take anything else out. I'm going to put this back soon. Yeah, so see now, since all these wires and then this uh, e bat goes through around here, yeah, it's a little bit difficult. <laughs> A little bit difficult to to get through there, but uh, I mean, it's it's not too bad. And like I said, it took me like like, a, like about an hour to get it done. Yep. All right, guys. I hope this helped. Uh, I mean, I know this is gonna. If you haven't had this problem, hey, this is coming for you guys. <laughs> so it's better to be ready and get the parts out there. You know, just buy the parts online, which is cheaper. And you are you ready to go once uh, if it happens? All right. All right. So I got everything back in there. Uh, I tried to do. I tried to uh, bleed as much of the air out of the uh, cool uh, out of the system. And I think I, I got a little bit over. I'm sure it's gonna go down. Anyway, I check everything, there's nothing leaking. And of course, uh, after I, I put uh, most of the stuff back here, and I went with my garden hose and tried to get most of the uh, colon and the freeze. Because you know, it's a little smelly. So, I got it out. Uh, if you see something shiny, it's the water from it. But there's nothing uh, leaking. Everything's looking good. So, hopefully this helps uh, some of you guys out there.